What exactly is super creatine in a bang energy drink? Is it even creatine? The short answer is no, not really. The long answer? I have drank a lot of bang energy drinks over the last few years. I'm a caffeine addict and some of the flavors are actually pretty good. But when you start looking into the actual company, their claims and the ingredients themselves, it starts getting really sketchy. Super creatine is actually L-leucine, chemically bonded to creatine monohydrate. On the surface, it sounds pretty cool, and being called super creatine, you would think it's actually better for you than creatine by itself. But if you watch a six minute long video of Jack Owak, the CEO of Bang Energy, he explains why it's called super creatine. Basically, it's called super creatine because it's actually water soluble, it stays suspended in the drink, and doesn't become a powdery clump at the bottom like creatine monohydrate does. And that's it. That's the only reason why it's called super creatine and why it's supposedly better than creatine. So the chemical bond of L-leucine and creatine monohydrate actually creates creatyl L-leucine. Bang claims that your body will break this back down into L-leucine and creatine monohydrate and then be absorbed, but there's actually no good evidence of this claim. And there's actually counterclaims that state that your body will just excrete it in your urine without even using it. This could be why Bang is the only drink in the world where you'll find creatyl L-leucine, but let's give them the benefit of the doubt and say that your body does break it down and use it. Let's find out how much is in each Bang energy drink. Actually, good luck finding that out because they don't list the amount anywhere on the can. When you ask them about it on their blog, they actually actively avoid answering the question. And if you're really serious about fitness, this is a problem. The daily recommended dose of creatine monohydrate is five grams per day. L-leucine is three to four grams per day. And if you're trying to hit that, you wanna know how much is in each bang so you can supplement accordingly, but they don't tell you, they avoid telling you. With super creatine printed across the top of every single can in huge letters, you would assume it's a huge part of the drink, but they avoid talking about it at all. So with them entirely avoiding the subject, we have to resort to the internet. This article here states that the amount of super creatine in each bang is likely between 4 and 32.5 milligrams. I have another source here stating that there's about 25 milligrams of super creatine, and yet another source saying between 4 and 32.5 milligrams. So let's give them the top end of it, 32.5 milligrams of super creatine. If the weight is perfectly half and half between L-leucine and creatine monohydrate, that gives you 16.25 of each. Being that the daily recommended dose of creatine monohydrate is 5 grams per day, and for L-leucine, 3 grams per day, you would need to drink 312 bangs to hit the daily creatine goal, and 187 bangs to hit the daily L-leucine goal. That would be fine and all if the fact that drinking 312 bangs in a single day would likely kill you with the 93,600 milligrams of caffeine you would be ingesting. If you drink one bang per day, you would still need to supplement 4.98 grams of creatine monohydrate. So basically, there's an entirely useless amount of super creatine in each bang energy drink. On top of all that, it's possible there's not even 300 milligrams of caffeine in each energy drink. During my research, I found this claim where they sent in two different cans of bang to two different private labs, and they tested the contents of each beverage and one of the cans came back at 34 milligrams of caffeine and the other came back at 188 milligrams of caffeine. I can't totally verify the accuracy of this. I'm not going to pay to test it out myself, but given the fact that they claim to have super creatine, which has basically no creatine at all inside of it, I would not be surprised if their quality control is so bad that they managed to slip through a few cans that have 10% of the caffeine that they claim to have. An unfortunate fact about the supplement industry is that there's little to no regulation. For example, if I have this L-citrulline here and I sprinkle some into a bang, I can now claim that it has L-citrulline inside of it and sell it as a pre-workout, even though the effective dose, like the minimum amount you need to be effective is three grams, which is this super, and the amount that I sprinkled in there is basically useless. I can now tell you that it has some L-citrulline inside of it, sell it to you, market it as that, and there's no punishment for me to me for that. Yes, it's in there. It's a totally useless amount, but it's in there. I can tell you it's in there. I don't have to tell you how much is in there. And that's it. 
A lot of companies do this with their products and it's very unfortunate that they slide through with no repercussions whatsoever. <sighs> so yeah, that about sums up my review of Bang Energy Drink and their patented super creatine. Nutritionally, it's a pretty terrible drink from a pretty terrible company that uses a lot of lies and attractive women to sell their drink to unsuspecting people. However, if you just enjoy the flavor and you don't care that you might be only getting 34 milligrams of caffeine, no beneficial effects from super creatine or whatever else they claim, then carry on, you know, whatever. So yeah, that's about it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.